M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Okay, so a few weeks ago, this new product came out called the Quasheng Dock, uh, which is excellent and it interfaces with your UVK5, K6 uh, to give you this nice PC control. And I started making the cable that you can see here, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to have a box that does all this so we don't need the cable because it's very faffy. And so I've started this journey and I've managed to meet G1 LRO, who makes some products in the UK. I'm not sure what the USA uh, versions are, but I know that you can get the middle product that you can see here called the AIOC in the USA and check out Ham Radio Dudes videos and uh, and links for that. You have to solder these pins on, but once you get your head around, it's not too bad. And you upload some firmware to this board, the boards that G1 LRO sells, along with all the other products, uh, become pre-installed with the latest firmware. So you know, and if you ask him really nicely, who knows, he might solder them on for you, but at an extra cost, of course. But you'd have to check, that's Mark G1 LRO. So this video is primarily about learning how to upload the firmware to the AIOC board. We've got lots more to learn. I've got the APRS board here, DigiPeter, that's going to fit on this device that I've just got the universal radio controller. Now with a bit of luck, I haven't tested it yet, I just thought I'd get this video out. I can just plug a few cables into this and the UV5R that you can see on the, on the right hand side or the Quashang and use the Quashang dock without having to change things. But that's, that is fingers crossed on that one at the moment. But the idea of these devices is that you will have a USB connection to your PC I'm not sure about your Android phone, who knows, but it's a USB-C connection. We'll start off with Windows for now. So the hard thing was understanding, uh, there is a page here, um, GitHub, I just scroll to the top, we're on the middle section there just to show you there. That's, see this orange, orange bit of metal plastic? That's putting the AIOC, let's call it the AIOC device into firmware mode. So you link them, connect to your piece, PC and we'll show you now about the DFU utility now all the information is here but if you're like me where you're not really uh, experienced using this then you just need a bit of a helping hand so at the top here we have to give credit to anyone that's mentioned here SKUEP AOIC I'm just trying to find any anyone that you know I have to say thank you there's some contributors here Simon Cuppers and Lars, Kellogg, Stedman, Agriff, Agriff, Klinguist, uh, Chris Linguist, sorry, and uh, Ryan. So if I got that wrong, I'm really sorry, but there's the, and thank you very, very much. You know, we do appreciate. So just scroll back to where we were. So my position at the moment is it's not a problem to get the, the board. We've got that now. As you can see, it's sold by... Um, in the UK, that is, by G1LRO. So anyway, in G1LRO's literature, there is a, a, a batch file that is going to help you upload the firmware. And it's just here, G1LRO UK Flash. So click that, download it like I did, and then click Extract and ex create a new folder, just like I did. So I'm going to show you how to do that from scratch. We just move, remove, so I've got so much stuff on here. Uh, oh God, wow, loads. All right, let's delete something, make a space. So we'll right click, go new folder, and let's call it AIOC2, like so. And then we're gonna go back to this zip, and we're gonna go extract, I have already done this, and we're gonna extract it to AIOC2, which is here. Click OK and it will be in there. So now when you double click it, with a bit of luck, let's do my one that I did properly. Look, DFU utility, double click and it goes all black like that. And the reason I'm guessing that it just goes black is because you, I need to have connected the item here, the USB, of course have the two pins connected. And when I click that, it's going to run that folder. The next stage is to how you get the correct bin. Now there's a, a 
code here on the left that you can copy. Okay, so I'm guessing you copy that into that black folder uh, and then it uploads it. I've, I've literally never done this before. So I'll, I'll read what it says. It says connect USB cable to the AIOC PCB. Use a tool that we've just shown you. Yeah. And it says GitHub releases page like this. Now this is the bit where I start to get lost. And then note that an LIB USB driver is required on, on Windows. There are additional steps here and I've read that. And then firmware updating. Once the AIOC has firmware loaded onto it, it can then be programmed without the above boot sequence. So once you've got it on there, then you can start to use it. This will reboot the AIOC into bootloader. That's joining the wires, you know, on there. Jumpers there. Uh, you should find yourself with a bricked. Uh, should you find yourself with a bricked AIOC, use the initial programming sequence above. So you, even if you brick it, yeah. So lots to learn. So what I've decided to do is this video is more about adding the links of what I've got. Uh, big thanks to G1 LRO. This is the. I'm going to be testing this unit shortly. There's the AIOC, and if we look at the, the, that's my APRS board again, and if we look at all the products, now if you look here, there are instructions on how to upload the firmware onto the, the big, you know, the big unit like so. Let's have a quick look. Reloading the firmware. To reload or upgrade the firmware, use the following process. I will endeavor to have the latest AIOC firmware on the site in the downloadable zip, which is cool. One, CPU needs to be in programming mode, install a jumper. So it's a different jumper when you're using this device on the programming pins in the corner of the main body. Okay, so read this, AIOC PU firmware update jumper, which seems to be here. RX audio attenuator. Connect the unit to the USB port on your PC. Power light will come on. In programming mode, download the flash from this link here. So there's the link again. Unzip the file into a, a directory. Run the flashback file. We'll attempt to load the firmware every 10 seconds. So that's it. When you hit the unit is flash, stop update process, close window, then remove the jumper. When you next connect the unit, you should see the power TX initialize the flash process is complete and I get you I bet you it's the same if you just remember if you get it wrong just do the process again so we'll just move on to the next step so I wanted to provide all these links the main one is the flash bat file I think is a key one to get I've got the AIOC links there by Simon and uh, thanks very much and thanks for watching my YouTube channel more to learn 73